Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the MailerLite add-on. The MailerLite add-on will allow you to either add, unsubscribe, or delete subscribers from your mailing list each time a user fills out and submits a form on your site. You'll also be able to assign a specific subscription type and specify which groups you'd like to apply these actions to. With that said, let's get right to it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, you'll first want to install and activate the MailerLite add-on. You can do that by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and finding the MailerLite add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Once the status has changed, click on the Settings tab on the left under WP Forms, and then click on the Integrations tab. Find the MailerLite integration, and then click on the Add New Account button. When you do, you'll see the following two fields appear, MailerLite API key and MailerLite account nickname. You can find your MailerLite API key in your account. If you've already generated an API key and have it saved elsewhere, you can skip this part of the tutorial. If not, let's open a new tab and log into MailerLite. On the MailerLite dashboard, click on the Integrations tab on the bottom left corner of the page. On the following page, you should see a section called MailerLite API. Click on the Use button and then click on the green Generate New Token button. Write in a name for this particular token and then click Create Token. You'll then see your token displayed for you to copy to your clipboard. Keep in mind that after generating this token, MailerLite will not display it to you again. Instead, you'll need to generate a new token. We highly recommend downloading and saving this somewhere secure on your computer for future use. Once you've copied and downloaded the key, click on the Close button and tab back over to your WordPress site. Paste the key into the MailerLite API key field and then add in a nickname for your MailerLite account. When you're done, click Connect to MailerLite. If the connection was successful, you should see a green check mark next to the integration. Now that this is done, Let's go into the form builder. You can use your MailerLite integration with any kind of form, old or new. In the form builder, click on the marketing tab on the left and then select MailerLite. Click on the blue add connection button on the corner of the frame and then add a nickname for this connection. You'll then be able to select an account to use for this connection and from any of the available actions to perform. Subscribe, unsubscribe and delete. The subscribe action will automatically add a new subscriber to your site's mailing list each time a user fills out and submits this form on your site. In the email dropdown, select the form field that will contain the user's email address, which will be added to the mailing list. In the type dropdown, you'll be able to select from any of the available subscription types, active, unsubscribed, or unconfirmed. Each of these types correspond to subscription types found in MailerLite. In MailerLite, you can create groups to segment your subscribers. The group field will allow you to select from any of the groups you've created in MailerLite and will automatically apply whatever action you've selected to this particular group. Finally, in the Custom Fields section, you can map any of your form's fields to MailerLite's custom fields. To do this, simply select a MailerLite field from the Custom Field Name column and then select the corresponding form field from the Form Field Value column. And finally, you can make use of our smart conditional logic to add an extra layer of flexibility to this integration. For example, my contact form has a checkbox that a user can select if they'd like to be added to my mailing list. With conditional logic, I can set up a rule that says that the MailerLite integration will only perform whatever action I chose. In this case, I selected the subscribe action if the user checks the checkbox labeled yes on my form. The unsubscribe action will remove a contact from your MailerLite groups. This action only displays the following two fields, email and groups. For this action, select the field in your form that contains the user's email address and then select any groups that this action will apply to. The delete action will remove a contact from your subscriber list entirely. For this action, simply select the form field that contains the user's email address. Once you've completed your setup, Click on the Save button on the top right corner of the form builder, and we're all ready to test out our form. You can click on the Preview button at the top of the form builder to view your form 
and submit a test entry. When you're done, you can return to your MailerLite account to find your newly submitted entry. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up and use the MailerLite add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.